Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Executive Keto Chef Show. This is Gary Trahey, and I'm your keto chef, and I'd like to welcome you. Uh, you I hope you all saw my post this morning where I put up a little thing of the, from the song, the, the main song from uh, Slumdog Millionaire, and I just, uh, this morning, I was just thinking to myself, gosh, I am just in the mood for some curry. And uh, curry is one of those really unusual dishes where um, it's very prominent within the uh, hey Orville, within the um, uh, Thai community, and it's also very prominent within the um, uh, Indian community. They both have it. Hey Sandy. Um, so tonight, what we're gonna do is I love doing curry. I've been doing curry for years. Um, and, uh, and, and I'll tell you, get, tell you a little story about how that all came about um, while I'm cooking. So it'll make it a little bit easier. Tonight is a little bit different. We're going to be doing it on a keto, the keto way. And I've never done it. I've never done it this way, folks. So this is a totally new way of doing it for me when I'm doing curry. It's basically being done very traditional. Um, and when you're when you're using when you're using curry, um, they they use um, either a cornstarch thickener or they use potatoes to thicken the sauce and to be able to do things like that. Um, so, um, hey, hey, Andy, how you doing? So, um, but, uh, so they use potatoes, they use cornstarch, they use all these different things to thicken up the sauce in order to make the curry, in order to get it a little bit more hearty. Um, I'm obviously in the keto diet, we don't use potatoes. Um, and uh, it, through my research, cornstarch uh, completely um, inhibits weight loss. And so I'm eliminating the cornstarch aspect of it. So, and I, I have a, a container of arrowroot, which is, that's the one I use, and it's, it's, it's a great product, and it's also an awesome thickener. It's completely gluten-free, and it doesn't inhibit um, diet weight loss. Also, just so you know some crazy crap about arrowroot, it is amazing for kidney functions. It actually helps you sleep better. There are so many aspects. I think it does something with your help with your red blood vessels too. So Arrowroot's actually a pretty amazing product. So get rid of your cornstarch. Go to Arrowroot. It's going to be much, much better for you. And um, so this is what we're going to do. And normally when I do uh, uh, curry, I always have it with rice. I think it's pretty traditional. You always have it with rice. Well, tonight I'm not gonna. We're not doing rice. And by the way, tonight I was. I'm in a coffee mood. So, and no, there's no alcohol in it. So, but it is fat coffee. And if you want to know about fat coffee, go back to some of my other videos about fat coffee. It's really, really good. It's actually a fat mocha. And and so, uh, hey Emily, I'm just talking about fat coffee. So. Um, so I, I, I made myself coffee. I haven't had coffee all day. I've been so busy uh, running around to the gym and everything. So I just decided I, I needed some coffee. So I'm having some fat coffee. So what we're going to do is we're going to start cooking. So I'm going to bring this over to the stove. Okay. And got that propped up there. And uh, I hope everybody got to see my earlier video. You got to meet my cat Orville, uh, who is uh, absolutely and completely completely amazing. I absolutely love my cat and I'm going to turn on the light there. And so tonight it's going to be an easy dish. A lot of people have, when they go for curry, they don't like curry. One primary reason why a lot of people don't like curry is because of the fact that they, the spicing is just too much. It's too overpowering. It's, it's just way, 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 way too much. I like to do mine very, very mild. So that's what we're going to do. But when I, when I start this, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my substitute that I'm using for the rice. And the other night, if you watched the show the other night, I made a riced cauliflower. And that's what I'm doing again tonight. In case you, uh, I made it with the, um, with the, with the salmon wrapped in bacon dish. Uh, and you can see that one, the stuffed salmon, stuffed chicken dish. 
Um, but today, what I'm doing, and that one was a purple cabbage, it was gorgeous. So what I'm doing today is I'm just doing, um, I'm doing a white cabbage, and excuse me, a white cauliflower. Um, just because of the fact that it looks more like rice, it'll, it'll have that more of that look. And, um, I, uh, and sometimes curry can be, come out in a, in a, in a, in a funny color and you don't want, you know, something purple and it's just too many, just too much of a color contrast. So let's.